Okay, guys. So, if you guys want to know where I've been for the past while, look at my update video. Uh, pretty much, I will have that combined with this video, even though I'm doing this bef video before the update one because I, I just wanted to get out of the way. But, anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what security software do I use. Now, I said in the update that I've been using Norton Security Suite uh, for about a week now, and I hated it because it had a few things right, but it wouldn't let me do the malware testing I did in VirtualBox, and it, uh, how do I put this, it just, uh, it had a bunch of false positives when I was trying to download some stuff, and I know for a fact that they're virus free, so I decided to switch back to my main antivirus software. Which is Komodo Internet Security, and here it is. Now, for warning, this if you see this bar right here, that's just my screen recorder doing that just to minimize the runner time and uh, actual video. Well, anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to get this and what security software I use. And first, I've been recommending Microsoft Security Essentials to people for a while. And it's great and everything, but it doesn't have a built-in firewall. And guys, just about, as far as I know, every single antivirus software, except this, is just a, either just an antivirus or just a firewall. There's never really both, but thanks to the people at Komodo, which guys, they've been around for only three years. Now, some people might think that's a long time, but it's not for antivirus and they're doing an extremely great job for that many years but uh, anyway not only the reason I recommend this is because the uh, detection is pretty good and it's very easy to use they are right when it's say as easy to use I mean I've never seen an easier uh, anti-malware or antivirus software but as Komodo keeps progressing with the sandboxing and leaving all most of the decisions up to a sandboxing, I've come to the conclusion that, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and recommend that to my friends and family members and other clients and family members and everything. Since it is getting easier to use and the fact that it's a free suite, you really never see that. But you have to do a few things first. Now, I'm going to show you how to get this. Just go to their website, Komodo. Dot com and here's our website you want to go to home and home office and have internet security now you could do you can go ahead and get this if you want gives you a free 60 day thing of geek buddy which is some sort of live remote service that if you get another virus it'll help it'll detect it and remove it it just helps pretty much everything if your PC is completely riddled with malware it'll help clean it up uh, you have a free 60 day trial of it, but if you buy their pro version, then you, you get it for free. Uh, or, of course, it's included with the price. And they do have, now you can either download this or they do have a pro version, and you can have try it free for a year. Their pro version is pretty much the same, same thing. However, if, if you don't buy if you take that trial, you'll get, uh, you'll get pretty much Geek Buddy for free, and then, and which is this remote security and system support but all these other features are from the free version you will not get the $500 virus free guarantee which means if they cannot clean uh, their vir the viruses off your computer then they will spend up to $500 on a professional in your area that you pick that will clean it for you and then you also get a $15,000 identity protection coverage which if, is if they've done something where Oh, you've uh, gotten a virus and they stolen your identity. Then, because while using this program, then they will literally pay a fifteen thousand dollars to make sure your identity is completely protected. If not, then they'll pay you five thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. Of course, and some other stuff. And I think their complete service is their best service. Yeah, it comes. Yeah, it comes with some, some other features like Trust Connect, Wi-Fi, data encryption, online backup and a few other things and you can get this stuff like at amazon.com you can actually get it in box but 
honestly, I actually just have the regular internet security. Uh, because I don't really need that kind of stuff. If I get a virus, I know how to clean it up myself. Uh, and for free, this is actually, and for how old it is, it's really good. But after you're done downloading and installing it, installing it is a no-brainer. Now, you want to do a few things. First off, before you install it, uncheck the secure DNS service. They will automatically put in the secure DNS service, but uncheck that. The reason being is because it's just going to send a DNS service inside your computer, but I will quickly teach you how to do that in your router, which means any computer that's connected to your router, it will pretty much use that DNS service to make a secure little network. It doesn't secure every single website, but it does a good... It does good enough, but here's the interface. Uh, this is what you're gonna get if you get the regular premium. You're, uh, if you get pro, then it's gonna look a little bit different, uh, but not much different. Still, it's somewhat easy to navigate. Somewhat, if you don't, if you know what you're doing at least. But all you have to be concerned is about this. Now, when you first start it up, it's a nightmare with, uh, using this if you're going to be using default settings. Uh, at this point and don't even restart your computer or if you have it the default settings is what I recommend here's what you want to do you want to change a few things in the settings first thing you want to do is press this arrow right down here find where it says Komodo right there right click go to configuration and make sure it's selected proactive security not internet security which that's going to be checked by default but proactive security that's what you want checked and then you also want to go to firewall and then go to self port wizard now if you know how to send files from one computer to your other one just from your internet connection then go ahead and check this one alert me and in connections and make my port stealth on a per case basis then if you're into torrenting and you're going to, going to use p2p or peer-to-peer -peer networking services and if you're going to be doing remote desktop connections, which is what I do, so I have that checked. However, if you are not going to be doing that kind of stuff and you want a really secure connection, but you know for a fact you're not going to be doing that kind of stuff, then click block all incoming connections to make my port stealth to ev for everyone. Uh, but really, since I do use those services, I just like this one. This one just a little bit more secure. So if you don't do that any of that kind of stuff, uh, and if you don't know what I just said, look it up. I can't. I don't have time to explain all that stuff in this video, but uh, just select that. Uh, if you don't know, or if you're if you're sure that you don't do any of that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click that, and there it goes. You get that little warning dialog or whatever. Now, last but not least, you get one. Go to Defense Plus. Go to Defense Plus settings. Go to Sandbox settings. And everything's right here is going to be by default checked. Unchecked the third down, which is automatically detect installers slash updaters and run them outside the sandbox. Which means if any installer or updater, which is pretty much all EXEs and MSIs, when, if they get uh, into the system and they install, uh, they pretty much got free reign of the system, which means if, you, if there's an installer out there that has malware in it, then it's pretty much going to uh, install the malware to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. And that's what you want to do. And now you are completely secure. Uh, when you pretty much try to download anything by accident, like if you if you accidentally download the virus, then it'll alert you right down here if you want to allow or deny or sometimes sandbox. You don't know what that item does, click sandbox. If you are a hundred percent sure that this certain file or install or whatever is clean, then go ahead and press allow. But anyway, I always recommend sandboxing. And that little check mark I did that uh allow the sandboxing thing, uh that helps a lot. It will secure pretty much your entire installers and you should be okay and then just do that and if you aren't so sure and it, it only has allow and deny or you you know for a fact that this 
this pop-up should not be happening, go ahead and click block, and you will save yourself a lot of hassle. I would test it out for you, but there's another video like this one that actually does test those settings. Uh, check him out. His channel name is LandGuy99. Uh, and that's really about it. Oh, yeah, and the DNS serve settings. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to quickly get this one. Uh, go ahead and go to your favorite web browser or your or, uh, search engine, sorry, like Google or Bing or whatever you use. And go ahead and look up oh, Komodo DNS. Select the first link. Go right down here and look up router instructions. And read this entire list front to back. I mean, be very careful when you're going into these settings. Make sure it looks like this. I use a link router so that it says static DNS. And if you do not know how to find your DNS settings that much and this guy does not help you, look up on look at your router and then go ahead and look up online make sure you know the na name brand of your router like if it's Cisco if it says Cisco then most likely it's Linksys uh, if it says Netgear it's just Netgear look up up one of those or Verizon or whatever you use and look up that name change DNS settings and you will be and then type in uh, these two and the first and second DNS and then you'll be pretty much secure uh, and a Pretty much, I love the suite. I'm glad that they've released it, and I hope they just have nothing but good success with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run a full scan like it wants me to, and I got I had a plan for some stuff I have to do here soon. So, thanks guys, and I'll catch you later.